Hello, this is Watika Smith, Safety Compliance Manager for, with the City of Columbia. This is your monthly safety message for the City of Columbia employees and for the public. I'm here today to discuss with you the monthly safety tips of hurricane safety. Before we get started, let's remember that the city is built off teamwork. What you see, or if you see anything, please let us know. We're here to assist and to prevent bad things from happening. So let's just do that together. Hurricane safety tips is first in hand. Hurricane season, we're gonna go over is what to do before, during, and after a hurricane. During a hurricane season, which is from June the 1st to November 30th, we must be prepared. Always have a first aid kit with you. All for each person that's in your family, make sure you have at least a gallon of water per person per day. Have some non-perishable items, some meat in a can. Have some crackers, some peanut butter and jelly, some bread. Make sure you have some batteries for your flashlight. Always remember to keep your cell phones charged. And if you can, have a cordless cell phone charger to have with you just to for backup. Always stay tuned to your local radio station and your local news channels. That's why it's always important to be informed. You will now hear from H. Demetrius Rump. He will provide and guide and give you information to follow during this hurricane season. And by the way, always remain safe and let's keep our prayers out of the ones that are affected with this hurricane. Thank you and have a great day. Hello, my name is Demetrius Rump, the Director of Safety and Risk Management for the City of Columbia. This is your monthly safety message for the City of Columbia employees. As our Safety Compliance Manager, um, as Watika Smith stated earlier, the topic of discussion today will be about hurricane safety. As she stated earlier, hurricane activity has already begun and the United States has already been touched by Mother Nature. It is so important that you abide by the recommendations and suggestions that we uh, suggest to you during hurricane season or hur in hurricane safety. Today I will be talking about what needs to be done to be safe before a hurricane, during a hurricane and after a hurricane. Before a hurricane, you need to make sure you have a plan, a plan with you and your family, just in case if you get separated, then you will, have, you will know what to do uh, in order to be able to re reunite with your family. One of the things you also need to do is fill up all your cars with gasoline, because gasoline is typically one of the uh, products that will run out during a hurricane very quickly. During a hurricane, you need to make sure that you don't go outside, you stay inside due to the howling winds and the torrentious rain. And you wanna make sure you're safe. Stay away from windows, stay away from skylights, uh, go to the interior of the room like a closet or, or lower level of a basement if feasible. You also too, you don't wanna use any electrical equipment during that time. If your home becomes flooded, turn off your main breaker to any electrical appliances in the home. Do not use your computer. Uh, while doing a hurricane. You just want to make sure that, you, you know, personal safety and your family safety is protected at all times. And after a hurricane, you want to make sure that you uh, don't go outside because nine times out of 10, more people have a fatality going outside because the area is not safe. You want to make sure that area has been cleared by an official before you go outside. You, I know everybody wants to go and assess the damages, but that's the time you have low hanging power lines, you have wires, so you really don't not, do not know whether that area is hazard free. You just want to make sure that you know everything is going to be okay in, around your residence or your dwelling in order for you to be able to do an adequate assessment. If you're staying in a shelter, and typically your public shelters will be a schools. Make sure you listen to uh, any news stations or broadcasting stations, and they will give you direction on what to do after the hurricane. And just remember, we're still in a pandemic crisis, so it's important that we also maintain and adhere by protecting our families by supplying masks, hand sanitizer, and disinfecting wipes. Because during a hurricane, if power goes out, we may not have access to water. We just want to make sure that you have those applicable items based on what the CDC recommends. And last but not least, roll up your sleeves, get your shot. This is your shot. Remember, safety starts with an S, but it begins with you.